Uh, hello people, I'm making this video uh, for people living in Australia um, uh, if they want to know what to expect from this phone uh, how it will perform in Australia uh, regarding network bands, 4G, 5G, NFC um, this was one of the main reasons like I was thinking should I get this or should I get something else um, but yeah I just want to let you guys know what works um, so yeah, I bought this phone from AliExpress, it ended up costing me $777, uh, that was with fast shipping and GST, everything included. It arrived, I think, 12 days later. Um, all the bands are supported for 4G and 5G. Uh, 5G, I think one band is not. I don't know what the importance of that is, but anyway. Uh, NFC, I confirm it works. Um, with my, I installed my Westpac uh, banking uh, app on there and also added my card to Google Play and tap and go works perfectly fine. Um, also, I came across this web page which I think you guys will be very interested in. It doesn't matter which country around the world you live in and you want to buy a phone and you're not sure if it's supported uh, in in your country regarding the 4G and 5G bands. Uh, this webpage, Kimmelville. Um, so you put in whatever phone you're interested in getting and just double check and make sure it's for your region, of uh, a particular region that you're getting the phone for. Um, so it'll have global, it'll have China, South America, there's different markets and as long as you pick the correct one. And down here, it tells you the bands that are supported so it's got information regarding CPU everything charging how fast it charges um, so yeah I think yeah that's the N257 band for the 5G I don't know how important that is but I'm with 4G still so and it picks up all the bands that's fine there's one more thing I want to show you guys the charging speeds um, <coughs> Coming from the Poco F4 GT, it's, it's just got the same type charging technology, it came with the same um, charging brick, 120 watts, and I use this app MP, which tells me um, how fast the phone is charging, and I just want to show you guys how it performs. There's a 120 watt charger, and yeah, it it, it charges as uh, same if not better than the F4 GT. It's got a bigger battery in there. Um, I've got a car charger as well from Xiaomi, and that goes up to about 11,000 milliamps. And this, wow, 15,000 milliamps. Um, so you can try this on your phone using the phone charger and see uh, how fast your phone is charging uh, and you can compare it to other phones um, yeah I think that's about it just want to let you guys know NFC works, all the networks work it came with a lot of Chinese apps obviously being a Chinese phone I had to delete a lot of them I've installed Google Play um, from the Get App Store that's on there <coughs> and through Google Play I searched up Google and installed other all the other Google apps like Gmail and Google Maps and whatnot, and it, they all work perfectly fine. I've got no problems with it. So that's the charging speeds. I'll get out of that. I want to show you guys one more thing, which I really really like, which is this. So you can use audio to translate into uh, these languages. So, for instance, I go. Russian. I go speak. Hello, how are you today, my friend? Здравствуйте, как вы сегодня поживаете, мой друг? So yeah, I thought that was very nice, um, very useful if you go overseas on holidays and stuff. So yeah, that's um, that's all with the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it answers your questions. And if you guys are planning on getting this in Australia. Go for it, it works perfectly fine. 
have a good day guys